Hi everybody, I'm Dr. K, creator of LiftHardPlayHard.com, and today I want to talk to you about another tip and another strategy when it comes to exercising to the point of exhaustion. And today's strategy is about exercising around an injury. Now I know I touched upon this in another video, but let me clarify just a bit. When you're exercising around an injury, you're allowing your body to move in any pain-free way possible. For example, let's say I hurt my right elbow. Well, I might not be able to press or curl or bench press or row with my right arm, right? But I'm going to do everything with my left. And I know what you're thinking, well, isn't this going to build an asymmetry? You know what? It's a rational argument and I'd like to address it. Here's what happens. I actually got into a like, full dissertation about this in one of the video presentations, one of the video courses in Lift Hard Play Hard titled Exercising Around an Injury, your newfound opportunity to be in the best shape of your life. And that's the truth. You see, when you, when you just decide not to exercise at all so that you don't build the asymmetry, what's really happening? Well, because of the pain, you're protecting yourself. So you're stuck in this like elbow bend position all day long, for example, right? And you're not wanting to move because as a result of not moving, you feel better and there's no pain naturally. So what happens is you lay off your gym program because you don't want to just get a really jacked left arm while your right arm's hurt. Well, there's a couple things to consider. One, you're more likely to hurt your dominant side than your non-dominant side, which is probably stronger to begin with. So this asymmetry you're worried about would probably be balancing things out. Number two, there's what's called decussation or crossing of the motor tracks, the, the nerves that, that basically tell your muscles how to contract. And so they cross and they go to both sides of your body. So by contracting my left biceps, I'm actually stimulating my right biceps too. Maybe not as much, but it's not pure rest the way it would be if I did nothing at all. The third point on this list is the amount of time it would take you to heal with an injury if you exercise the rest of your body versus not. You see, if you exercise the rest of your body, healing time improves a lot, a whole lot. I can't even begin to tell you how important that point is. You see, when I was actually a doctoral student at the University of Miami, I had an, a, a neat opportunity to open up my own personal training company. And during that time period, I kept getting referrals from people with injuries. Now, I couldn't treat those injuries because I wasn't a licensed physical therapist at the time. But I did know how to avoid them. And by simply avoiding them, people rehabbed as fast or faster than they did by going to physical therapy. These were people that never went and they healed anyways by driving more circulation, more blood, more nutrients to their entire systems. That's where this concept was born of Global Fitness LLC. Because I saw the healing rates and I said, what if we attached rehab and this together? So I ask you, can you find pain-free ranges of motion? Can you exercise your lower body if your upper body's hurt? Can you just leave behind the idea of an asymmetry for the time being and worry about healing faster by exercising around injury and still taking yourself to a point of exhaustion, still getting fat loss, and still finding that newfound opportunity to be in the best shape of your life? Again, I'm Dr. K, creator of LiftHardPlayHard.com. I'm very glad you could join me today. Have a nice day.